unfortunately, guys, unfortunately, the spy is still stuck in the chop range. It's still in the chop phase. It has not made a decision if it wants to go to another new all-time high or if it wants to give us a legitimate pullback. Guys, as you guys know, if you guys have been following Uncle Charlie long enough, you know, I, I often, not often, but a good amount of time, I talk about how the market cycles between two phases, the chop, the chop phase and the trend phase, okay? The market, when it's in the, the chop phase, it's consolidating horizontally in a triangle, in a wedge, any, any pattern you can think of, that is what a chop, the chop phase look like, okay? It comes in the flag comes in a wedge okay it can come in a whatever when it picks a direction it breaks the range of the chop okay it breaks the range of the structure and that's when it gives us the leg the next leg okay the some people call it the structure uncle like to call it the chop phase but the principle is the same once it breaks out the range of the chop phase or the structure we get the next leg as you guys can see it happens over and over and over again in the market we get the chop phase where the market consolidate okay we break out then the market goes in the trend phase and then it goes in another chop phase and then it breaks out goes on the next leg and then now we're in another chop phase and so far what i have here is an ascending triangle pattern today we finally officially had the third bounce off of the trend line here this is what i have guys the chop phase sucks but guess what the chop phase leads to the next trend phase this is not the time to get frustrated guys this is the time to be prepared and get ready get ready for war against the market makers this is not the time to get impatient this is the time to be patient if you have prayed to our lord almighty and said lord please give me patience guess what he ain't gonna give you patience but he will give you an opportunity to be patient and right now this is your prayers being answered are you gonna meet god halfway are you going to be patient today and tomorrow until we break the chop range because make no mistake the chop phase will not last forever i got hundreds and hundreds of years hundreds and hundreds goodness gracious tens and tens of years <laughs> lots of data that proves that the market does not chop forever i can go back days and months you guys see the market will not chop forever. It have moments and phases where it does, but it does not chop forever. And right now, yes, we are chopping, okay? But not forever. But today, we will prepare. What is the chop range, Uncle Charters? Well, based on the ascending triangle, I have a, a resistance around 585. And then based on the top of this mother candle here, I have a resistance around 586 clusters of resistance but either way that is a cell zone sometimes zones can have a range of its own in this case the cell zone is 585 to 586 and if we break that zone then the chop range ends bullishly we get the breakout of this ascending triangle pattern and we are going to new all time highs 588 590 or higher once that cell zone breaks okay and if we are to get a legitimate pullback if it is correction phase time or if we're gonna go in a correction once again those same levels must fail 583.6 582.3 581.579.5 five. now we can break down 581 that's a breakdown of the chop phase Barely. that's a breakdown of this structure that's a breakdown of this ascending triangle pattern and that is when i would say hey the bears have control of momentum the bears have the upper hand right now 
You guys understand? Anything between 585 to 586 zone. Well, let's say 586 top. 586 all the way down to 581 is the chop range. Okay? That is the chop range based on this ascending triangle. Based on this structure. And as long as we are in this structure, we are chopping, guys. This is just noise. But guess what? It ain't going to chop forever. Because once we break out this range... We are going to get the next swing tradable move. And I'm not going to give you guys a prediction. I don't know if the market's going to go up or down. Okay? But what I do know is the levels. And I know the setups. And I know that I will be doing what I've been doing for the last nine years. And I'm going to be trading it. Unbiasedly. Bye. Triple Q here, still stuck in the chop range as well, guys. Still stuck in the chop range as well. Same levels, same levels. I need to see 496 clear. To put a bottom in, though, I need to see 497.5 clear. And that will hit the big 500 and 501.8 level or higher in play. Okay, guys, we're still in the chop range. Got to break down 494, break down 492.5, break down 491. Today... That 491 area held as support. There was some buying pressure. Not right at 491, but around that area. So we know where the buying pressure is coming from. If bulls cannot defend that level and bears break it down, okay, we can talk about a deeper pullback. Okay? 491 to 496 is chop range. Break that range. We can get the next tradable, swing tradable move. In either direction. That's all uncle has always said to you guys. To be unbiased. Because I want you guys to be prepared. For any scenario. If you go to war. You got to be prepared for any scenario. When you play chess. You got to know what all the possible scenarios are going to be. This is how you be 10 steps ahead of the competition guys. Okay. NVDA. NVDA had a beautiful move on NVDA. I wrote in, for my tier 2 members. Tier 2 members. Tier 1 members, you guys don't get this content from me. But tier 2 members, you guys do. I wrote here, 139 clears. This is at 9.25 a.m. If 139 clears, 141 in play first. We played level 11. Then above is new all-time highs. Look at NVDA, guys. That orange line is my 139 level. Boom. What a beautiful... Beautiful move. 139 cleared and once again 141 defender resistant. Okay, hit 141 and consolidated there. Hit my target 141 consolidated there for smashing, hitting 143. New all time highs. But it started with clearing my 139 level. Beautiful trade idea if anybody took it. Look at this new all time high. New all time high. Double top is canceled. We had a 141 from June, 140 ish one from. You know, October 17th, now we smashed it. Guess what? As long as above 141, bulls are in control. No double top, okay? Don't get bearish unless we get a false breakout setup. Because that 141 was a sell area twice, a critical sell area twice, and we broke it out one time, if we break it back down, false breakout, that is when I would get bearish. If we break back below 141. As of right now, guys, as long as above 141, Bulls in control, we're going to new all-time highs. You guys seen this stock go crazy before, ever since. Look at this. This is the beauty, guys. This is the beauty of price action trading. You don't need no crystal ball. You don't need some random YouTuber telling you what to buy and what to sell or what the hell he's doing. You just need to know the levels, the setups, and your ability, your skill to trade an unbiasing. People be like, oh, trading is gambling. No, it's not gambling. It can be gambling, but the way I trade is not gambling. It takes a lot of skills. It takes a lot of skill. Look at that. We break the structure. We break the consolidation zone. Because if you zoom out that big old trend line on the bigger massive time frame, that is consolidation. Based on the you know monthly chart, you know, if we go to the monthly chart, it'll look like a big old consolidation for NVDA. That's all it is. Okay, just applied on a higher time frame. That's all it is. But once we broke it out, no crystal ball needed. 
I mentioned everybody. This was way back in early October. I told everybody. We clear 125. We're bullish. People kept telling me we're bearish. And then we kept going higher and higher. I give people great trade ideas. Uncle Charlie still don't have 10,000 subscribers. But if Ron Walker said. Or some other YouTuber said. Hey guys short here. He gets like 20,000 subscribers. Goodness gracious. Anyways. It's like I'm ice skating uphill man. So anyways. Do not look too long. I mean, excuse me, do not look to short unless we break down support as usual. I have support at um, 142.5 and 141. Okay, 142.5 and 141. That's the levels I'm giving you. Those levels fail, look to short. As long as above, we are going to new all time high. Next resistant level is at 144. I'm going with 144. We clear 144, we're going to uncharted territory. Let's go. Tesla still consolidating. I barely don't want to talk about this stock. 216 to 223.5 is the chop range. As long as in between, it's chop. We'll talk about this stock when we actually break the range. I'm so sick of it. IWM, hey, look, it's looking bearish. You broke down that 224.5 level. I told everybody. Uncle Charter told everybody. I don't get no love for this kind of stuff, but I told everybody, guys, I'm not giving you a prediction. But I'm giving you the levels. If we break down 224.5, you want to look to short. Look at that. Gave us a beautiful move to the downside. No crystal balls. Just skills. Anyways. Next support's at 222. We break down 222. The sell-off continues, okay? The sell-off will continue. We break down 222 with 222, 18, and 216.7 in play. Now, if you ask me, do I think those levels are going to hit? I don't freaking know. But if we clear 222, I mean, if we break it down... I'm going to look to take profit at 220 or close it as possible, then I leave a runner. I'm going to let the price action and my stop loss do its job. I'm not going to impose, impose my, my will. Okay? You got to be humble. You got to be humble. I don't care. You got to be freaking humble. Anyways. No, they can't get bullish unless 224.5 recapture. That's where the selling came from. Okay? We cleared that level. It was tested as support twice. Then we broke it down today. Told everybody, look to show that level fails. Beautiful move. 222 and 220 fails. More downside incoming. It's just that simple. You just look to react. Do what you're told. Do what you're told. The price action is the shepherd. Do what the shepherd tells you. Ugh. Anyways. Not bullish unless 224.5 recaptures, guys. Dark pool level. 583.5. Look at that. Just a couple of cents different from my dark pool. Uh, my dark pool. Just a couple of cents off from my... Uh, resistance level at 583.6 But that's where the dog pool level is Okay guys I paid money for this You guys get it for free uh, 494.5 That's where the dog pool level is If anybody don't know guys I, I explain it many times If you don't know what dog pool levels are This is where the institution The big money players This is where they're moving Their money These are the levels These are their pivot points This is where they're buying And where they're selling as a price action trader, I just look at where they're buying, I look at where they're selling, and then I just use it as a pivot level. Just like I use a point resistance level. Keep it that simple. You guys want a magic explanation. You guys want a magical explanation. Just follow the price action, guys. Blessed those who follow the price action. 494.5 for triple Q. IWM. 224.3. I got a, I told you about that level. 224.5. Dog pool level around 223, uh, 224.3, few cents off, but around that zone, gotta watch that zone, can't get bullish unless we get above it. Dog pool backs me up, just a couple of cents different from my level, guys. And I got Tesla, 218.8 for Tesla, and for NVDA, 143.7, okay? These are pivot levels, these are where the big money players are buying and selling. All right, okay, so let's look at SPY filter for 100K premiums or above. I'm only looking at above the ask. Sweeps in the, oh, no, not in the money. I want out the money. I want the aggressive foolish plays. And once again, it's overly bearish. $5.2 million. Why is it so much bearishness? When are they going to be right? A market maker is going to pay them out. Doubt it. Triple Q. Very bearish, six million to four million. Not as lopsided as the spy, but pretty lopsided. Worth noting, a lot of these puts are October twenty first and October twenty second. Very bearish for the short term. So yeah, what happened with spy today? It's a chop. 
yeah, market makers did not ain't paying them. They're not paying them. Look at these, look at these calls. All short term. These are all short term. A lot of these aggressive plays are short term. Make it make sense. Price action is the shepherd. Price action is the shepherd. IWM overly bearish. 1.4 million in puts compared to 300,000 in calls. That is it. That's just so lopsided. One million dollar premium right here. 217 strike price for November 15. Holy moly. If I can see it, the market makers can see it. NVDA. Bullish. 10.3 million for calls. Holy moly. <laughs> Hey, market makers don't pay out, uncle. I mean, shit, they paid out for NVDA. They paid out for NVDA. October 20th, a lot of October 25th. Strike price here for 140, low 140s. 144, 141. Man, they got paid. Okay, well, hey, the NVDA. The NVDA people getting paid. Why not the spy people? What's going on? Anyways, did we get Tesla? Did we get Tesla? Bullish for Tesla. October 25th or 25th. So bullish in the short term. Still overall chop. This is why I say price action is the shepherd. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more content from Uncle Charters, definitely join the Discord. Stop playing. Become a sheep. Bye. Let's get this money. Peace.